all day in the truck fix. Now I know so, you. I, I know you. I, I know you mentioned that in the video, and you know, and I, you know, I, I heard the, I kind of heard the shock and awe, you know, because it's pretty much the same thing. Like I said, the same thing, bro. I get to the, right. I, I get to the place. They tell me to clean out the truck, and I'm over here like, right. I'm all the way up here or down here in Georgia, and I'm all the way at home. Right. How, how am I going to get home? Oh, we'll we'll give you a bus ticket. Exactly. Bro, really. But they they don't exactly they the companies companies like that don't care, bro. They want you to drop they, 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 they want you to drop the truck off wherever they want you to drop the truck off at, and then you it's it's up to you to get home. They it it, it doesn't exactly. matter. You can call you can call your fleet manager and 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 cry to the wolves come home, bro. And they will be like, right, ain't nothing we can do. You know, so they exactly they they put all that they put all that on you. So you was able to get, of course, you was able to get back home. Uh, You knocked out, you know, you knocked out a couple of you knocked out a couple of videos. You got yourself reset it, and now you uh you 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 got with you got with a new company. Uh, Right. It it looked like you was excited. Looked like you was right. You know, looked like you was doing the damn thing. I'm. I know a couple of issues happened along the way, and I and I and right, I'll touch right. on that in a second. But you got with the new company. It was the new company. Where was the new company out of? Right, right. I'm gonna get to that. I'm gonna get to that. I want to touch on one thing first for go, your listeners. Go ahead. I always tell people it's very important to build an online brand because when you build an online brand, everything is content. Everything is monetizable. So I'm not telling anyone to go out there and get fired, but that day when I did get fired, guess what? I was like, okay, cool. Even though this is a negative moment, I'm going to turn it into a positive moment. The first thing I did when I when he called me and fired me is I took a picture of the thumbnail. Thumbnail with my head down and all that, wada, wada, wada. Right. And yeah, I got the bag off of that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So build a brand and, and make your life monetizable so it don't matter what happens in life. It don't matter if you get fired. It don't matter if you it blow a tire, a steering tire. It don't matter what happens, bro. You're ever, you're going to be able to make something good out of it. That's why I want to tell your listeners. All right, but, go um, going to going to the new company. The new company is out of Oregon. I'm not going to say their name, just out of protection for them. You know, no problem. But nothing wrong with the company. Like the company is very, very great. You know what I'm saying? It's just OTR. I'm just not about that life. And it, me personally, bro, it doesn't have to take me two and three years to find that out about myself. You you are the person. You know yourself better than anyone else on this earth. So I don't need to take two years to say, I'm, I don't want to do OTR. And I know this because when I did regional with the Orange Company, I was happy. You know what I'm saying? I was home every week. Granted, I wasn't making as much as money with this company right now, but at least I was able to be creative. I was able to exercise. I was able to shower daily. I was able to cook. I was able to do whatever I wanted to do. I wasn't driving 10 hours plus a day. I was only driving nine, which left enough time to do other things. And when I started working with this company doing OTR, that all, like, it's not the same. So I was like, you know what? I don't want to do OTR no more. I would rather stop now than to get too deep doing this and then find out I want to stop. I don't want to do that. And that's kind of what happened with this company. This company is a great company. The owner, you know, if, if you could, if anyone listening could, if you can get with the owner operator, if you can get with the owner operator who, can you still hear me? Yeah, I'm still here. Go ahead. I was, if, you, if you guys can get with the owner operator that's honest and that can give you some game and can teach you things, this man has literally taught me about how to own my own trucking business in less than two months. He taught, he, he's giving me game on taxes. He's giving me game on how to buy a truck, how much you need to put down, uh, how to build business credit, how to make sure that you even have a income history and, you know, making sure your income statement is where it needs to be. So when you buy a truck, they can, he's literally taught me how to own my own trucking business in less than two months. So All if right. you guys can, so make listen, sure you get with a person that keeps some game. So listen, 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 BR, man. Listen, man. That's what trucking is all about, bro. You when you Back. when you was when you was regional and everything, you know. Of course, you know you you had the time because you know the 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 mega carriers usually don't give you 
you know, don't don't give you the load and you had to sit, you had to wait. You had time. You had time to right. do a lot of you had time to do a lot of stuff. And right. that was one aspect of trucking a lot of us don't like. But now you got exactly. with a, but now you got with a company that you was getting loads every day and you had to run that right. clock. That clock. Let me tell you about that clock, bro. That clock ain't yours. That eleven oh, that that eleven hours, that's not your that's that's not yours, bro. That's the own that's that's the company's clock. So when that man, when, right. when they give you a load, they want you to run that motherfucking clock to down to the last second, down to the last minute, right. or whatever, whatever. Now on your ten hour, that's when they say, "Oh, well, you can do whatever you want on your ten hour. You good on your ten hour? You know, so right. you. But don't forget, in that ten hour, you need to get at least eight hours of sleep. It's only exactly. twenty four hours a day. Exactly." So, uh, the sacrifices that you're gonna have to make, man, is 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 huge in trucking, and it's gonna be different. It's right. gonna be different carriers, different companies. You know, maybe you'll work. You maybe you'll drive for one company that you might not even have to do this, that, and the third. But then get with an LTL company that you're gonna have to be running, like you know, where where time is a factor. You see what I'm saying? Right. And that's and that's right. what I want to touch on the fact that you know when you went to the one place and you picked up the wrong trailer I want I was going to I was going to do I was yeah. going to do a video on that but I was like nah I said no nah, I'll leave that one alone because I I I I tend to think that you was in a little bit of a hurry you kind of you know you was in a little uh-huh. bit of a hurry and you didn't you know, you got with you know got with this person and that person, and then boom, you got stopped, and they thought that you was still in the trailer, and it, it didn't work out that way. Right. What happened? Right. What What happened with all that when when you left with the trailer? You driving down the highway, you see the cops. Whoop whoop. What 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 you what's going through your mind right now when you when when you see that? Well, first when I seen the cops. I seen a cop like in a divider, like I seen him in a divider as I was even approaching him. Like it wasn't like he just seen me, right? So everything is content. The second I seen that cop, I got a gut feeling that he was gonna pull me over. So I said, Okay, cool, let me grab my hat with my GoPro, just in case. Bam, it's on. You know what I'm saying? So before that cop even got behind me, I seen him coming to get me. I didn't think it was gonna be me because it was literally three or four other trucks within that same vicinity. But me always being prepared for the moment when he pulled me over, I already had the freaking camera on. So when I seen that cop, I the only thing I thought of to be one hundred, which he was dollar sign, and that's why that video got sixty three thousand views today and, and increasing. It's because you got to capitalize on the moment. I turned every negative moment to a good moment. Everyone else was clowning me. Oh, you're dumb. This, this, and that. You got pulled over for filming a trailer. Meanwhile, I'm just laughing in the background and I see money signs. Like, keep commenting, keep driving that video into the algorithm, and yeah, we're going to have our money to buy our truck next year. It's chess, not checkers. I keep trying to tell people. Now, for people, now, for the people that keeps, uh, including myself, I mean, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know, leave myself out of it because, like I said, I, I see that you, you know, everything that you're doing is kind of strategic. I get that. And I give you a bomb drop. Very, for, very. I give you a bomb drop for that. But I mean, yeah, I it. but I mean, for the people that are that are saying that you you just doing all this for YouTube, and you don't have you you don't have no intent. You know your your intent is to be a YouTuber and not a trucker, though. Can can you right. can can you see why? The people is actually saying that because they, 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 they seeing you, you know, making the content and everything, and they seeing the numbers running up, and 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 as for you, you you say, well, I'm I'm seeing dollar signs and everything, but can't you see from what the other people like like you know like the quote unquote drivers when they see it, they looking at it like, well, young boy ain't interested in driving. He just he just want to be a YouTuber and then. Be, be it. Yeah, I, can, I man, I'm I'm very open minded. I mean, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. I I never 
criticize anyone for, you know, everyone has the right to believe in what they believe in. Here's the thing, though. People are looking at it that way because I'm filming everything. If I was filming everything like everybody else, like back in and, and doing everything the politically correct way, let's be 100. Everyone's not going to film themselves getting pulled over in the truck because they're scared they're going to lose their job, which is perfectly fine. Me, however, I don't care about any of that. Like, I care about the company. I want to represent the company in the best possible way. But that's why with this company, I said, I asked the owner, hey, bro, you know, I'm a YouTuber. You, and, and by the way, this owner's seen everything. He's seen me get fired. He's seen me out there rocking the tire. He still hired me. And I really uh, am grateful for that. But anyways, um, yeah, I can see how they would get that. But just like I said, I'm not trying to just do dumb things. And honestly, that thing with that trailer, that was a that was a dumb mistake that should never have been made in the first place. And about that, the reason why that ain't been happened, um, like, you know, with, with Mega Cares, when they dispatch you, everything is on the ELD. Like, they have everything, like, really laid out in steps. It's very hard for you to make a mistake. These companies have spent millions of dollars to build systems in place so that you don't make mistakes, right? Mm-hmm. With a smaller carrier, it's a little different. They're like they're sending you dispatching through emails. They're having brokers right. contact you and all that. It's a little right. different. You know what I'm saying? So that kind of like I think the, at the time the owner had sent me the trailer number, but he had made the he had made the trailer number like kind of like the the title of an email. So I'm like I just kind of got confused. And when I got there, they just let me in. They didn't ask for a trailer number or anything. So they were like, Hey, all of the empty trailers are over here. They made it seem like I can just literally go pick up a trailer and leave. So that's exactly what I did. I went to go pick up a trailer, and usually, instead of them stopping right to confirm that that was the right trailer, they didn't do that. They just let me go. So I was under the pressure that I was doing the right thing, but that was the wrong thing. And that mistake will never make like happen again because you need to lessons. know what trailer you're picking up. Lessons, lessons, lessons. everything, but, everything but that's thing. going here's on thing. is like, lessons. Here's the, here's the thing, though. I record this stuff. Even if it's dumb and it and humiliates me and makes me look stupid, the reason why I record this stuff is because it's a teaching lesson in real experience, in real life. So people who are watching my videos, they're like, oh, dang, I ain't going to make that dumb mistake he made. Let me make sure I check these trailer numbers. And that's what it's really all about at the end of the day. That's what's up. That's you know what I'm saying? That's what's up, man. I, I'm not trying to be a teacher, bro. I want to I wanna be a teacher through my experiences. And that's the thing about being a rookie. You're going to make a lot of mistakes your first year. Instead of me making mistakes and me just making mistakes by myself, no, let me record this stuff so that we can cut the learning curve down for every other rookie who's planning to come in this industry. It's bigger than myself. All right. So listen, man. You did? Hey, bro, I got you. I got you, man. Listen, like I said before, you know, when I when I came in and uh and and start, you know, started talking about you, it was never it was no never shade or any hate, you know, a lot of your supporters feel different, but even though, right. you know, but I was telling them like, yo, I'm I'm coming at you from from an experience type of deal. You know what I'm saying? So with all the kids, right. with, with all the with, with all the people that's that's coming after you in your comment session, um, the ones that you that that are supporting you as well are as well as the ones that don't. What do you say to the ones that don't support you? Like, what what do you got for them? Like, like what do you got for the what do you got for the for the guy that 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 came? In, I mean, that came after you for saying something like. Uh, you you got three jobs already. You're not built for this, and you know you're a steering wheel holder and stuff like that, man. What do you what do you say to what do what do you say to the 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 non the non sayers? I tell them to keep commenting, and I tell them you, you are. You, I don't really block people off of my my uh, channel unless they get a little too reckless. I mean, YouTube is YouTube. I have never met any of these people that have a disagreement. I've never met all these people, any of these guys saying anything negative to me. So I just take it on the chin. It's a part of the, it's a part of the, the YouTube thing. It's like you guys have the right to believe in whatever you believe in. And here's the thing, like YouTube is funny sometimes. You will literally have a person talking about how much they hate you, how stupid you are. Mm-hmm. You don't deserve to be a truck driver or a steering wheel holder. Yet they'll keep coming back, 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 and commenting and watching my videos and 
and making my videos go more to the algorithm so more people can watch my videos. I don't understand that, but hey, to each his own. Everyone is, has a right to their own opinion. They can keep throwing insults at me. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm going to do. I'm doing because I really feel like I'm doing a great thing. Like, I'm not out here, you know, talking bad about no one. I, I don't get to know YouTube beefs. I don't, I don't do none of that stuff. I'm well, just you, out you, here you got, trying you got to a become little, better. You got a like little beef. Person. You got a little beef. Let's, let's cool. talk. Let's, let's talk about that little beef. I, I don't know. I, I just found out about, I, I just found out about the video yesterday. Uh, there's, uh, whoa. Uh, there's a video out there by Too Too Raw or Oh D Watts. Yeah, D Watts. Thank you, thank you. D Watts, Too Raw, or whatever the case. I seen his. You know, I went and seen his video because, of course, the algorithm. He had your name, and the algorithm picked right. up and you know shot it over to me. And I'm over here like, who's this guy? Like, right? Okay, like, so did you? Did did you like do anything to him? Did you say something bad to him? I mean, <laughs> what what's going on with that? First of all, shout shout out D Wise for for those who don't know who D, who D Wise is. Daddy Wise too raw. Go check out his content. And the reason why I'm saying that is because just like I tell people, YouTube is a business. I just talked to him. Me and him literally just talked to each other today for probably like four hours, three hours. I got to understand it with him. And, um, like, like he, 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 that really, you know how YouTube works. He was using my name as a, as a means to kind of like generate some buzz for his channel, which it did because me and him, me and you are talking about him right now. Mm -hmm. So if he's listening right now, that's what happens. Me and him were just talking about this. I didn't do anything to him and he didn't do anything to me. He was just using my name. Like a lot of people have lately to just get some buzz. And that's perfectly fine. This is a business. If you want to use my name to make a bag real quick, I don't have no problem with that. Keep using it. You know what I'm saying? So me and him, we don't have a problem at all. He's a, a great individual. You know, at first, when I watched this video, I didn't think nothing of it because I knew exactly what he was doing. That's YouTube drama sales. Like, this is entertainment at the end of the day. We're, we're truck drivers first. But at the end of the day, it's just entertainment. That's all this is. I didn't really, I didn't think nothing about that, man. We don't got no beef with each other. Okay, okay, okay. I, you I, tell me. I, 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 I hope not, man. But it, it, you know, this this YouTube can turn this YouTube can turn friends to foes real quick, bro. Real quick, even though hey, even though he, I don't know. He, even though <laughs> hey, listen, take take my word for it, bro. I I've been I've been on I well I've been in this trucking space of YouTube for the last seven years. I've been on YouTube uh -huh. for about fifteen. And ever since I've been in the trucking, yeah, I have my I, I have my bout with controversy with YouTube throughout the years, bro. Right. So tell you know you, you could be cool, y'all two could be cool behind the scenes and all like that because see this is a lot of things that a lot of people don't know that yeah we we know the people behind the scenes we talk to people behind the scenes the same people that you right. think that we got beef with we talk to behind the scenes That's what I'm saying. but but still though even behind the scenes it it could it it, it it could change friends to foes real quick i you know I, Man, without, without listen without even mentioning no names just go over and check out one trucker's channel go back into the archives see how many people that he was <laughs> that he was linked up with versus where they at today? I'm just saying. Right. <laughs> it, it happened. You know what? I love it, man. I love it. This is what people don't understand about about YouTube. I it's, it really makes my job a lot easier. People wonder how I literally grow my through my channel from literally zero like zero supporters to almost twenty thousand in less than five months. It's because it's like. Spill bro, the secret like, sauce, bro. He, we, we 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 need to know the secret sauce, man. Because, like I said, within two months, <laughs> you, within when I first saw, when I first saw you at like eleven thousand, then now two months later you got twenty thousand. Spill the secret <laughs> sauce, bro. What, man, what, what 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 am I missing? Here, the the sesame seeds. Here's what, the secret what, what sauce, missing, bro. Nah, I'm gonna tell y'all the secret sauce. The secret sauce is being real and transparent. People people really. And speaking from the heart, people really relate to someone who 
is willing to be vulnerable enough to show them that they're a human and 